You guys can talk and everything. You're going to <laughs> Here. And today we're at Tacos La Chula, Tacos La Chula in Orange, Texas, right? The Beaumont, Texas era. Here to do the Gusto, the Gusto, the Gusto Burrito Challenge, guys. So this is a massive, massive burrito. This is a 10 pound burrito, a 10 pound burrito. It's actually a team challenge, but you can try it solo. No one has ever beaten it solo out of about 180 attempts. Now, don't get me wrong, the majority of those were team attempts. There's been about 180 attempts. There's only been three team winners and no one completed solo. So not great odds, but that being said, I'm really wishing, I'm fingers crossed, let's see what we can do. Uh, the burrito is $50 if you do not complete it. And if we win, we get the meal for free. And I think a sweet t-shirt. So anyway, massive, massive, massive 10 pound burrito. Wish me luck, I'm definitely gonna need it. This is a massive and crazy burrito. I know it is topped with queso, um, but yeah, that's about it. So really, it's gonna be interesting. But hey, I love Texas. Things are always bigger in Texas. And, Let's go eat some food. Hi everyone, so here we are with the burrito, the Gusto Burrito, Gusto Burrito, guys. And this thing is absolutely giant. We did weigh everything out, so we have roughly about three pounds of meat, three pounds of rice, three pounds of refried beans. Then we have a whole bunch of pico de gallo in there. We then have lettuce, we have cabbage. It is topped with a queso, a house-made queso. We have some fried, jal or grilled, roasted, roasted jalapenos as well, which apparently we do need to eat. We don't have to eat the lemons or the limes. I then have some of their uh, salsa roja, red salsa, which is a habanero. I also have their jalapeno salsa. Both look very, very delicious. So one hour, and uh, that's about that. Again, like I said, nobody's ever completed this by themselves, and only three teams of two have completed this out of what is now probably like 180 attempts or something like that. So ultimately, let's see if we can change that, and uh, wish us luck. Let's get started here just momentarily. All right, Ron, so we might as well get started. Um, I also forgot to mention, we did get pick our uh, meats. I went with a uh, kind of a ground beef. We have like barbacoa and pretty much everything else. Tried these salsas, delicious tasting, very spicy though. And just to clarify, the jalapenos are a part of the challenge, is that correct? Thank you. All right, well at that, we might as well get started. Just kind of pick an end and go from here. So what if we say we go at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Wish me luck. Mm. Okay, first bite, very, very delicious. <laughs> The taste was actually really, really good flavor. The meat shrimp and chash cake. Try to keep it all in one piece. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Tacos La Chula in Orange, Texas, taking on the Gusto Burrito Challenge. So Orange, Texas is in Eastern Texas, very close to the Louisiana border. <laughs> Maybe a little messy, but it's very good. You look great. You look great. Thank you. So at the time I had attempted this challenge, it's been around for, it was somewhere between like six months and a year, and it had been, like we said, attempted over a hundred times, all mostly by team to two, and there had not been a solo individual to actually beat it. So of course, the main goal was just to see if we could eat this by ourselves. This was a very big burrito. And one thing I do appreciate is we did weigh out everything. So we had like, again, it was like three pounds of beans, um, three pounds of rice, three pounds of ground beef. It's so good, I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> really, the flavors are absolutely delicious. Then there was the tortillas and the cheese, like the queso sauce. Um, also the jalapenos, we went the very large jalapenos, those weren't weighed, so it could even been a little over 10 pounds. But again, for my challenge, we weighed everything out. I think we're gonna eat this. Man, this dude, <laughs> this dude is my hero, right? 
gonna give him his own special day in the city of <laughs> That is the mayor, so maybe it'll be a Joel Hansen day. <laughs> So I really appreciate the authenticity and I can say with full confidence that mine was 10 pounds and uh, like I said, definitely, definitely a big, big burrito. So the burrito itself was absolutely delicious. It was so, so good. The refried beans and the meats were seasoned. Sticky hand. <laughs> mm. The damn good. Like the cheese, the cheese sausage is fantastic. The seasoning of the meat. They got like a lovely aioli in there. So I have no complaints. It's my book. He's watching you there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Compliments to the shop. <laughs> And this is honestly a burrito that I did not just enjoy in the challenge, I would definitely enjoy leisurely, although I would definitely have a lot smaller version of the burrito. Um, again, the burrito was $50 if we did not complete it, or uh, free if we were to complete it. Three minutes. How long is it? Three minutes, 12 seconds in. Can I get a spoon, please? Spoon. Oh, sweet. Don't have it. I'm not a baby. Oh, I'm not a baby. Unfortunately, that's the biggest spoon I've got. Thank you. I have a spoon. Yeah. Yeah. And even like the queso sauce, the cheese sauce on it was fantastic. Uh, very, very tasty. It was a lot of fun. Like we even had like the mayor come on out to the event, and I will say just from both the uh, actual challenge, like the taste of the challenge and the experience overall with the staff and everything, the patrons that came out, um, this is definitely one of my uh, like favorite challenges in the last little while for sure. So I definitely can't wait to come on back, and I definitely would. Like I definitely stop on by here. I want to come have a mocha hete. Um, they have mocha hete and a lot of other uh, kind of Mexican cuisine here right off the highway. Well, five minutes down. Very delicious. Big burrito though. No shortage of food, I'll tell you that much. Whereas this part is kind of just like falling apart. But nonetheless. <laughs> so we were kind of taking our time with this. Um, you know, obviously we're going at it, but we, were, we had some wiggle room. We had some fun. Again, no one had actually beaten this solo. And then the record for the two people was just over 13 minutes. I have seen this burrito also been created since. And uh, some of them look a little smaller, a little flat. So I'm not sure if they changed up the, maybe some of the rules or changed up the sizing of some of the burritos. Um, but definitely kind of if you look like how round my was compared to some of the other uh, visuals that I've seen, um, it seemed a little smaller. So if you wanted to try it, maybe it's coming out a little smaller than once was. Um, you know, you'll have to obviously contact the restaurant to find that out for sure. But uh, definitely a really, really, really cool challenge. And of course, you can also just like order this burrito and share it with your family. I mean, like you could honestly feed probably like six to maybe even 10 people with this thing if it you know being 10 pounds and a really great deal for you know what 50 bucks um, but yeah so like I said very delicious burrito really was enjoying it um, overall again just very very flavorful um, but that's pretty much all the information I think I have for you today uh, definitely like I said if you're ever in the area stop on by and give it a try um, I was there in early July 
Um, now, if you're wondering how you can find out where I am going to be and find out where I will be eating next, um, definitely check out my YouTube community tab. So definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you'll get the notifications of my travels. And also follow me on Facebook, link in the description, and or on my website, joeleats.com. I post my travels, my schedule on there as well. So definitely check all those out. So about seven minutes in, still doing pretty well. Woo! Filling up, but it tastes delicious. And I really look forward to meeting you all at a future food event. So with that everyone, thank you again. Really appreciate that. Um, if you liked the video so far, hit that like button and uh, comment down below. What's your favorite meat in a burrito? I honestly think mine is probably Hmm. This if it's ground beef like this, this was amazing. But otherwise, I really like like pulled pork or a carne asada, something like that. So comment down below and let's get the video. Thank you, thank you. I was close. You were close, actually. You're, yeah. I was, I'm very surprised. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I was thinking like 30 minutes. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo. Now I got way in my room. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Last few bites of the burrito, and then there's jalapenos. Oh. Jalapenos. <laughs> Which are big jalapenos. Yeah, they're spicy. So nine minutes, 33 seconds. Just finished that up. Very delicious burrito. Woo, I tell you, the uh, jalapenos, yeah, definitely a little spicy. I inhaled one. It was sitting in my throat. It took me a minute to kind of get through that. But uh, yeah, that was a delicious challenge. Went like, just like, it was so good. Good food just goes down so easy. And this was definitely a very, very, very delicious burrito. The ground meats were great. Like I said, the sauce they had on there, the flavors were fantastic. This cheese sauce as well, this queso, was honestly like one of the best cases I've ever had. It just had such a nice, like warm, kind of nice, peppery, delicious, cheesy gooeyness, um, which is like, it's very, very good. For me to say that, you know, it's very, very good. So that everyone, huge thanks to staff. The staff been fantastic. Thanks everybody who came on out. Really appreciate you guys coming on. I know we're, uh, we're live on Facebook, so thank you to everybody who is watching live. Thank you so much. But without everyone, for that, we do get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. I'm um, the $50 burrito. We get a t-shirt or anything? Yes. Yeah. We also get a sweet t-shirt, and we are officially the first person to complete this solo. And in fact, we actually just got, I guess, a new record um, on the burrito, as the team record was about 13 minutes something seconds. So very, very delicious, guys. I can't say enough, but definitely that was a big burrito. That is like, a, that is a monster burrito. Do I recommend anybody eating this much in one sitting? No, but definitely come order one of these burritos with your friends, a couple of family members, something like that. This was so delicious. Absolutely loved it. I would eat here again and again, time and time again. They have uh, birria, they have so many other cool tacos. They have mocajetes, one of my favorite items um, of like Mexican kind of style uh, food items of all time. So uh, yeah, definitely stopping by, when and if you're in the area, it's right off the highway, you're traveling either way, Texas, Louisiana, or live around, stop on in here. Tacos of Shula, very, very, very enjoyable. But everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll show you that t-shirt when it arrives. 
Ugh, so we got the jalapeno. Oh, here's the shirt right here. There's no cup showing up. You can hold on the camera if you like. Tacos La Chula. Beautiful. And the back. Gusto Burrito Challenge, or champion. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying for a little bit. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, that, that's pretty much about that. Thank you again. And uh, until next time, first of all, say happy I'm hungry, happy eating, and uh, have a lovely day. Man, cheese all over. <laughs> So here we are right downtown New Orleans, Louisiana. Here we have the famous, what we've called Jackson Square. This was not open before. And of course behind it, the big, big, big iconic church. I still don't remember the church. I wanna say it's called something to St. Paul or something or other, but anyway, this is a gorgeous green space. Literally right downtown, you have the water right on the other side of this thing right over there, right the water right over there. And then green and Big old church uh, down in the French Quarter here. So, pretty dang cool. Furthermore, down here in the French Quarter, having all of the old buildings, very the Europe, old European style looking buildings. Very gorgeous though, and of course very noted to stand out you know, in the American culture, hence why partly it's so famous for this area. Of course the influence goes way, way, way back, and uh, which created you know, the Cajun culture, having again, a strong French influence, uh, linking up with, I don't know, I think it's maybe a little, maybe, I don't know, I don't know the whole thing. I, I want to say Spanish, but I don't really know, because this is a lot of Spanish culture in it. But, uh, yeah, there you go. If somebody knows the whole history, comment down below, and then I will know the whole history. And up here, directly across from Jackson Square and the big church, I believe it's called the St. Louis Church or Basilica, there's one of the great big New Orleans uh, kind of steam boats, the rotary style boats. Still operating day, which is pretty cool bit of the water and then if you turn around here you have a beautiful view of Jackson Square and or the Basilica which is very very gorgeous and uh, definitely a great way to kind of see some of the French Quarter here some more sites of the French Quarter uh, heading towards Canal Street Canal Street uh, House of Blues Canal Street is like one of the main streets while a lot of it, you know, kind of has been updated and you have some real kind of uh, not just old looking buildings, you have very modernized buildings on there. They also uh, have the big famous like um, tro uh, trolleys, the little trolley carts that are famous uh, in New Orleans. And Canal Street is right up there, right up there. So we're almost there. I'll just see that a little bit. And um, yeah, but yeah, definitely the French Quarter, definitely a cool little, cool little area to see here in New Orleans. Here we are on Bourbon Street by day. So we have all the bars, um, which at night this looks very, very different. They close it down to pedestrian only. And uh, yeah, just literally just a street full of bars. Open drinking is allowed, like alcohol. I'm not drinking alcohol. I'm drinking an Arizona tea, but nonetheless. And here we are at a Tabasco store, Tabasco being a Louisiana originating hot sauce. I have never tried the Scorpion version of the Tabasco, so I've tried most of the other ones, so let's give it a go. Scorpion, it smells, uh, I get some original scent vibes of the normal Tabasco, but there's a little something else in there, that's for sure. A little more earthy. Woo! 
Yeah, that kicks. So the scorpion is the hottest organically, naturally grown pepper. Things like ghosts and reapers, <coughs> those are all hybrid, those are manufactured. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, this is definitely a hot one. Yeah. They said, uh, said about 20. I just need to get out of my throat one second. Yeah, so it's. Uh, I kind of inhaled it. Sure. I will say the flavor is pretty good. That's the key. I inhaled it. Woo, as soon as I get out of my throat, but uh, yeah, he said 20 times harder than the regular Tabasco. If I didn't inhale it. That's the company call it. They say 20 times hotter than the original. It's not That's like, an yeah, my, my mouth isn't burning. I don't really, like, it's not a lingering spice. Like, there I legit inhaled it. That's why I was kind of um, lost my breath for a minute. But um, it's not bad. Definitely, like, a different flavor than the regular one. Mm -hmm. But I will say, compared to the habanero one, I think this has a better taste. Because I've tried the habanero, which is the other spicy one, so... Scorpion pepper Tabasco. Interesting. It's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. All right, everyone. You know we always keep it real here. Well, I had that scorpion uh, pepper hot sauce on the empty stomach because I have a challenge later. And oh my gosh, I tell you. So like, probably had about two tablespoons. Uh, or sorry, no, uh, two teaspoons. So about ten mils. I drank the cup. I finished it. I really liked it. it tasted good. This heat was definitely. It was a good heat. Um, but uh, like after, because I inhaled it the first time, then after taste, when I not inhaled it, it was better. But uh, let's just say my stomach is rocked. We're reporting from the bathroom right now. Uh, would not recommend eating the hot sauce with that hot and empty stomach. So keeping it real. Hi everyone, we're outside the uh, New Orleans Museum of Art at what I believe is called the Sydney and Walda Bestoff Museum or Sculpture Garden. Sculpture Garden. Um, here looking at some cool things. This is a very unique looking statue. It's almost like Inception of a man and he keeps going up and up and up and up. It gets really really small uh, Which is very really unique. There's obviously some nice green space around. It has some uh, big uh, Waters here as well and some of these statues that we've been seeing that's a more modern one. Some of these are like 100 years old And uh, oh, Here we go. Here's a cool one with a ladder called the window with ladder too late for help it's kind of exactly what it is so definitely some unique very unique sculptures and art um, got a upside down hanging man kind of I think supposed to resemble like an alligator or something um, but yeah I, there's probably some wildlife in these waters as well which is pretty cool yeah oh yeah well that's I think there's a bird big bird statue of violins all kinds of cool things. There's definitely a frog. You hear the frog chirping. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hunt him? Yeah, we can go hunt some frogs. We are in Louisiana. <laughs> Only suiting. Maybe we've got to find an alligator. We can wrestle him. Catch the alligator. Oh, 83. Yeah, 83. Yeah, but some of these statues are 100 years old, so. Well, uh, but yeah, this is really cool. Got big weeping willows and stuff. If you're like this, so we'll have to uh, continue to see some more. And there's lots of different statues. Some of these are a little more modern. modern. So a little more dated. Some of them being a little more abstract. Oh yeah, big safety pin. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this is cool. Corridor pin, blue. Pretty cool. Then more abstract like that. Don't know what that is. But pretty neat. Here we have a lot of we have a lot of fish. Oh, I don't know if you guys can quite see them. You can probably see them there a little bit. See they're moving a little bit, a little bit right there. Fish. We saw a turtle. There's lots of little lizards, little anoles. Very, very beautiful greenscape. We definitely heard some frogs. We didn't see them yet, but they got lily pads. A little bit of that swamp moss. Oh, look, we got air bubbles right there. I don't know what that was. That was a something something. But yeah, pretty cool. Lots of interesting uh, statues to be had. And then here on the break, we have a whole bunch of big turtles hanging out. We have some, oh, and there's some duck over there. We have this, I, I don't know if this is supposed to be a, maybe a crown of thorns or a big barbed wire, but a big gold ring. It's called the sun. It was very interesting. That's some more abstract, woody, rock looking ones. The trees, the, uh, the, just, even just the, the horticulture here is fantastic. The 
they're beautiful. Uh, you guys can't really see it that well with the light, but kind of like this. Just very gorgeous. This is like a fairy tale tree that you would see. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.